Hey, ladies and gents, I'm back with another tutorial. It's been a minute, so it's good to be back. Today, I'm going to be talking about Amazon's free associate or affiliate link builder plugin. That's for WordPress. It's been out about, I would say maybe four or five months now, and a lot of people don't even know it's out there. It's an okay plugin, and you'll see it's got some quirks here and there. But I'm going to show you how it works and then you can decide if you want to use it or not. So if you don't know how to install plugins, you're going to go to your WordPress dashboard and click plugins and then click add new up at the top. And then we're going to search for Amazon associates and there's the plugin. And as you can see, it's not rated too well. A couple of people were complaining and saying that the tracking wasn't working properly. So it's a work in progress. Just know that. So you're going to click install now. Mine doesn't say that because I've already installed it. That's why it says active. So you'll click install. Once you install the plugin, you're going to get a link over in your navigation in your dashboard that says associates link builder. So you're going to highlight that and click settings. This is going to take you to a page that you have to set up before you use the plugin. First, you need an access key ID and a secret access key, and you can get those easily by clicking here and Amazon gives you the instructions to do that. Down here, you're going to want your associate ID, which is like a tracking ID to help you know where the sales are coming from. And it can be helpful if you have multiple websites. So to create an associate's ID, you have to go to your Amazon associate account and that's at amazon.com slash associates. Once you're there, you're going to come up to your email address, hover over it, and then click manage your tracking IDs. From here, you're going to click add tracking ID, and then this is what you're going to name it. So you'll call it whatever you want, and then Amazon's automatically going to add the minus 20 on the end. That's just something that they do. And then you're going to click create. So that's what you're going to put here, and then you can set that as your default. Next, you're going to choose your default marketplace, and then you're going to choose whatever affiliate template that's going to be the default when you're creating links. So I have mine set to product link. Um, I just have mine set to link because I typically use links when I'm linking to affiliate products. When you're all done, click this and then save changes. And now you're ready to use the plugin. When you open a page or a post, now you're going to see a search box for Amazon. And when I first saw this, it worked just fine, but something's changed. So for example, let's say you're looking for a particular product that you want to create an affiliate link for. So let's type in Zevia because I know that that's a soda that Amazon sells. So I'm going to click search because that just seems logical, right? But I get this error. Okay. So I came down here instead and typed, I love Zevia and I selected it. Now I hit search. And we're getting somewhere, but we're still getting an error. But if you come over here and click search, then you get what you want. It was not working like this at first. So I don't know if that's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong, but it's kind of strange. Anyway, you choose what product you want, or you can come over here to click more search results if you don't see what you want here. So let's pretend I want this one here and down here, here's that setting that I was talking about earlier where it automatically gives you your default. So I have mine set to product link, but you can choose carousel, grid, ad, which will give you like this image here, whatever you want. And then you choose your associate ID and then whatever marketplace you're selling in. And then click add shortcut. So now let's preview this and there's our affiliate link. So when I click this, it's going to take me to Amazon. It automatically opens up a new page and it's taking the person there using my affiliate link. And if they purchase within 24 hours, I will get a commission. So that's how you create affiliate links with Amazon using their plugin.